Hola, estudiantes. Feliz Año Nuevo. Happy New Year and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. The month before our winter break, we went on three different virtual field trips and learned how people celebrated the holidays in Colombia and Venezuela. And then we visited a classroom in Spain. Well, today we are going to learn about a holiday called Three Kings Day that takes place on January 6th. And today is January 6th. So if you lived in Spain, or in one of the Latin American countries, your family might be celebrating this holiday today. Now, not everybody that lives in Spain or lives in a Latin American country celebrates Three Kings Day, but many people do. And we're gonna learn a little bit about what it is and how it is celebrated. So the Three Kings were called Melkor, Gaspar, and Balthazar. And Christmas takes place on January, or excuse me, on December 25th. And it is believed that these three kings uh, walked to the city of Bethlehem, where the baby Jesus was born, and arrived 12 days after he was born on January 6th. And what is today? Today is January 6th, the day of their arrival. So today is Three Kings Day. And it's believed that the three kings brought gifts to baby Jesus. So that is what is being celebrated um, on this holiday, Three Kings Day. Now, the day before, on January 5th, there are often parades called cabalgatas, and people come out into the street, friends and family together. There are people dressed up as the three kings in costume, riding horses and camels and walking through the streets, and you can see the giant floats over here. Beautiful. And tons of people eating candy and visiting with each other and being excited. During the cabalgatas, there are animals, people dressed in costumes, and lots of loud music. The three kings throw candy from on top their candle or on top their camels down to the children that are walking or that are watching along the street. Now, the next tradition reminds me a lot of what some kiddos here do prior to Christmas. So leading up to Three Kings Day, many children will write letters to the kings and ask them for gifts and tell them how good they have been during the year. Does that remind you of a tradition that you do? Some of you, not all of you, but some of you may write letters to Santa Claus before Christmas. And if that's not something that you do or that your family does, that's okay too. Now on the evening of January 5th, children leave food and water for the kings and their camels. And this next tradition I think is so neat. They also set out their shoes, hoping the three kings will bring them gifts and candy and, and fill their shoes. Now, in many houses here in the United States, families hang up stockings and they put them out before Christmas. And not all families do that, but many families do that. So those two, two traditions remind me of each other, the shoes and the stockings. And then early on January 6th, the children wake up excitedly and open their gifts. Is there a day of the year that you wake up excitedly? Think about it. Maybe in your household, that's how Christmas morning feels. Okay. In many families, they prepare a cake called a Rosco de Reyes. And it's a traditional dessert. And it is in the shape of a king's crown. Do you see the crown at the center of it? It represents the crowns that all the kings were wearing on their heads. It's decorated with dried fruits. And the fruits are multiple colors. And the colors represent peace, happiness, and love. Okay, this next part I think is really neat. Inside the cake, there's a doll, a little small figurine. Do you see it in the picture? It's believed that the person that chooses the piece that finds the doll inside is king for the day and will have good luck for the year. And I've heard of other families 
um, who have done different traditions where the person who has the piece of cake that has the doll inside, they throw the party, the King's Day party for the next year. So depending on the family and where they live, the tradition might vary a little bit. Just like here, um, families practice different traditions or their birthdays or certain holidays might, might look a little bit different. So today, January 6th is Three Kings Day. And if you lived in Spain or a Latin American country, you might be celebrating this holiday today. And of course, there are people that live here in the United States or different parts of the world who also might be celebrating this holiday. So I want you to think of three things that you learned about Three Kings Day and then share them with somebody in your house. Maybe it's that it takes place today, January 6th. You might share that there were parades that went on yesterday called cabalgatas, where people dress up as kings and throw candy to kids. You also might share that children leave their shoes out on January 5th, hoping that they'll be filled with toys and presents. Or you might share that there's a special cake called a Rosco de Reyes or King's Cake and that the person who chooses the piece that has the doll inside gets to be king for the day. Okay, thank you for joining me today, Super Kids. I hope that you're all doing well and I'll see you next week. Hasta luego.